Hi all. In this video, let's learn about why websites use cookies. So not only that, we'll learn what is a cookie, who can access a cookie, types of cookies, users of cookies. So let's get started. So whenever you visit any of the website, okay, if you visit any of the website, so the first thing you can recognize or you can see, they will ask us to pop up. They will uh, give a pop up and they will ask us to accept the cookie. So here also at the uh, down you can see they, will, they are saying that they are using the cookies. Earlier it was like they said, they said that to accept the cookie. So what is this cookie? So now let's understand not only this website, whatever the website you go initially, the first time if you are visiting, surely they will be asking you to accept their cookie. Fine. What is this cookie? So whenever you visit the website, this website will store some information related to you in your browser. So that information will be stored in a file and that file is known as a cookie. That is about the cookie. So what will be available in this cookie? So our needs like uh, the preferences, user preferences will be available in the cookie. For example, the language preference. If I select English or Japanese, what language the user is interested? So whenever you visit a website first time, if you want it to be in a light mode or dark mode, the currency, the uh, currency preferences, the language, local preferences, all this information which are related to the user, these are known as the user preferences, will be stored in this cookie. The website will store this in a cookie in order to give a better experience to the users whenever he vis visits for the next time. Whenever the user revisits that website, again, he no need to modify the dark or light mode or he no need to modify the currencies or uh, the language preferences, he no need to modify them because that website will hold that information in the cookie already. That's the reason whenever you revisit the website again, you no need to select these options again. That will be taken care by the website with the help of this cookie. That's the advantage or usage of the cookie. Fine, if you're working in this website, so this website will be created a cookie for you in your machine, in your uh, browser. Fine. The other cookie, the in if you're working in a other browser, like uh, the other tab, it has its own cookie. This tab can't access a cookie which is stored by this tab, this website. Okay, this website can only have the access to its own cookie file created by it. Okay, the other tab or other website can't access a cookie which is stored by this cook the another website. So this is the thing we need to understand. It means who can access the cookie. That is what we need to understand. Particularly that website will be accessing the cookie file. And now what is what else the advantages we have with this cookie? So whenever you visit any of the websites, weather websites, okay, weather applications, then it will store the city which, which you're uh, generally using. For example, let me go back to the headverse.in. So this is a, usually I use this website. So if I go back to this website, see, by default, it has saved the, these values. I have not selected the values called Madiwala, Bangalore, and Kokatpalli, Hyderabad. So these are the default values I used to search for. So that's the reason whenever I just opened this website, it was automatically filling these fields. So this is, this is how the cookie works. How this works with the help of the cookie, they, they could able to fetch my previous results and they are showing me directly without entering them. With the help of this cookie, they can improve the user experience as well. So let's understand what are the different type of cookies we have. Number one, we have the session cookie. Session cookie is a type of cookie wherever the user is using, until the user is using that tab or that website, that cookie would be live. It will be available. If once he closes that website, that session cookie would be deleted. That is known as a session cookie. Persistent cookie means it will be last for max one year. Okay, it means it will hold the information of the users for the one year. That is a persistent cookie. And uh, coming to the HTTP cookie, it means whenever you pass any of the request in the, to, the, to the server, this HTTP cookie will be going with that. So for example, if you log into any of the system, Okay, and if you do subsequent calls, like if you add some items to your card, what happens? Again, you need to log in, in into this system. But with the help of this HTTP cookie, you no need to log in directly. You can add to the basket. And again, during the time of the checkout, again, you need to log in into the system. 
but be, with the help of this http cookie you no need to log in because your information will be available in this http cookie and whatever the calls you do later point of time subsequent calls will be done with the help of this http cookie so that's the reason the user would be remembered you no need to log in multiple times that is what this http cookie mean so coming to this third party cookie what is this third party cookie and what is the difference between the first party cookie and the third party cookie so let's learn about this third party cookie means a websites will embed some type of code okay inside their websites which are relevant to the ad serving companies okay our analytics related things those are not related to your user preferences those are related to your user choices what you are doing what the relevant information you are doing that would be captured by this third party cookie usually this cookie why they use this is to serve the ad campaign with the help of this cookie what they do is they will take the relevant information from you your interests what you what you are searching what type of uh, application or what products you are searching for example if i go to the amazon site so these are the things i am searching for so the things which i search more will be considered as a and taken that as an ad campaign okay and they will run this for the ad campaign fine how to find out what is a first party cookie and the third party cookie first party cookie is just to store the information related to the session information and user preference information third party cookie is like something that is used by the ad companies okay now let's understand right click this site and i'm going to the inspect so here go to the application you will be getting the developer tools go to the application so here you can clearly see under this storages you will be having local storage session storage along with that you will be having the cookie as well i am clicking the first one so the this is the domain i am visiting and this is the cookie i have so this you can consider this as a first party cookie see now what you have the preferences inr so the language preference english so like that you will be having all the session token session id the session id is like a who am so for the subsequent calls this session id would helping me that it will not allow me to log it in it means it i no need to log in again and again the reason behind this is this session id will help us to maintain that i am the authorized user so this is what it means so the domain which you are using and here if the domain is the same it means this is a first party cookie and now if you see the third tab, third one here the domain i'm using is amazon.in but the domain which you are seeing is amazon have an ad system.com this is not relevant to our domain in this way you can understand this is a third party cookie and there are using this third party cookie see you can see it is like ad id ad privacy so they have some things to do with the ad serving agency so they will pick some information the relevant information which we are looking for and whatever the website we go the other website so they will be showing this type of ads relevant ads to us so it's like targeting the users based on their search or the based on their interests this ad agencies third party cookies will take the information from us and they will use this information and they will show you the relevant ads whenever you visit to the other websites as well so that is what this third party cookie does it means in fact it it will be tracking us whatever you do and whatever the relevant things you want or your interest choices will be captured here and if you go to another websites also if i go to any any another website laptop will be like a monitor would be showing for me as an ad okay in that the previous search whatever i do that will be showing as an ad for me even if i go to whatever the website i go so that is happening because of this third party cookie fine so choosing which cookie to be accepted which cookie to be rejected is up to us so generally what usually we do honestly whenever we get any of the cookie a pop up we'll just blindly click that accept cookie will not be in reading anything what they are showing right but usually we need to read but uh, if you can't read that yes we have an option we can choose which cookie should be accepted which cookie should be rejected we can control the cookies how we can do that so go to your browser and i'm going to the settings in the settings i'm clicking the settings button in the right left side you have the privacy and the security i'm clicking here here you have cookies and the other side data 
if I click this, we'll be having a number of information related to the cookie here. Allow all cookie. If I this option would be by default. So all the cookies will be coming to your website. So that would be third party cookie or the first party cookie. So you need to select something like this. Block the third party cookie. Then the ad campaigns, the ads, it will not be disturbing. So based upon your preferences, it will not be choosing the ads. So it's good to block the third party cookies. Okay. And this is what, and you have a number of options below. You can also customize the behavior of this cookie. You can add whichever the site. If you believe any of the site, you can add that site, whatever the cookie it is storing, you can just add or you can ignore the sites. So the, this here, you have a number of options, couple of options you have just to understand the things. And also you have something, see if I select, now see all the cookies and site data till now what all the sites are maintaining the cookies and what information they are storing. That also you can see, you can select this. You can be having this sort of information, okay? Which is related to the cookie. So which website and what information that is storing, that is also you can able to see. And apart from that, you can also send, you can also use these two options, send a do not track request with your browsing traffic. If you enable this, you will your traffic or your tracking cookie will not be enabled okay and clear cookie and site data when you close yeah this is also best option if you enable this whenever you close that website all the cookies data information will be closed you can use a number of options we have so it is up to us to choose which and we can control the cookie it's not like uh, whatever we get we are accepting that we, you can control the cookie like this so this is all about the cookie cookies. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.